Thank you, so, Ken Corley. Uh, these amendments are grouped, um, and m some of the amendments or some of the sections which have been amended are already contained within the new piece of legislation, but there is a new section which obviously extends the boundary beyond an acre. Uh, and I'm sure the government will have valid reasons to explain why that is important, and indeed what I would like to do, as we would do normally, uh, where ample time is, is afforded a piece of legislation uh, and pre-legislative scrutiny is afforded a, 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 in, in a proper way the committee, we would tease out some of the language in relation to this legislation uh, and the, the, the text contained within it. For example, there are, there are bits of language that, that, are, that are important to be teased out, but we haven't been afforded that opportunity, Ken Corley. Uh, the Committee of Finance, in which I'm a member of and have been a member for quite a number of years, we're in the process, we're in the middle of actually pre-registered scrutiny of this indeed bill. Indeed, just earlier today, we received submissions from local authorities and experts in the field who have written uh, about this legislation, written a report in relation to the Equalisation Fund and the impact of the local property tax. But that has been trumped because the government have decided to ram through this legislation have decided because they haven't got their own act together, and I have to say that, because in the opposition we have facilitated the exemption from pre legislative scrutiny on numerous occasions when they are COVID-related bills. But this is not a COVID-related bill. This is the local property tax, uh, an issue that was supposed to have been looked at many years ago, where it was deferred and deferred in terms of the valuation date. It's not something that was sprung up uh, you know, uh, uh, and took the Minister for surprise. The fact is that we are sitting here tonight at what time now, uh, Can Corley? Quarter past 12. It is past midnight, and we are dealing with all sections here without a pre with a pre legislative scrutiny process that was supposed to be continuing in the uh, Committee on Finance, and it's been rammed through for one reason and one reason only, is that the Minister and his department has not done the necessary preparation to afford the Arachthus and members of the Arachthus to properly scrutinise this bill. So therefore, the amendments before us do need proper uh, scrutiny in relation to the text, the implication of them, uh, and particularly what it would mean for example, in relation to buildings, particularly farm buildings, uh, which may have a number of outsheds uh, that aren't used for farming purposes, but will they be brought in? Uh, what happens to larger properties that have acreage? There's questions like that there that would be, uh, I would like to have teased out, but unfortunately the reality is of tonight, uh, and to save the time, we aren't going to get, it is unlikely, to get to all of these amendments uh, with a proper consideration. So I leave my comments at that there for, at this stage.